How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to print from an Android phone to a Canon printer. And when I say Android phone, I also mean Android tablets. Android devices. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up so other people with their printer problems can find it. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. The printer we're gonna be working on is the Canon G4210. It will work with lots of other Canon models that are wireless compatible. It's pretty much going to be the same process. And the first step you have to do is to make sure that your printer is connected to a Wi-Fi network. And I have a specific video showing you how to do that. Put a link to that video in the corner so you can check that out. And with that video, I am confident you'll be able to get your Canon printer on a Wi-Fi network. The next step is getting the correct apps on your phone and then going through the process of printing like where it's located. And I'm gonna show you that through the phone. So here we are on our Android phone. We are going to go to the Google Play Store you're going to type in Canon and it comes up with the Canon apps. You're going to click on this Canon print service and you're going to install. And this is the basic instructions that's going to tell your Android how to send a signal to a Canon printer. It's kind of like a driver if you were on a computer. If you hit open, it doesn't really do much, it just says it's a plugin that allows you to print documents and to use this method to print, you type, the, you type those three circles. That's what we're going to be hitting right now. We're going to open our document and however you get to the document, it might be in your downloads folder, it might be in your Google files, it might be in your Google Drive. So you just have to open up the file with whatever file that you want to print. For instance, if I wanted to open this lesson plan about earning a extra $500 a month, the document that I made at some point. Three dots at the top, scroll down, look for print. If you don't see print, go to share and export and then hit print. It's going to take that document, bring it into what's called a print dialog. Because that printer that it auto picked is not on my network anymore, I'm going to hit the drop down and there you go. You see the G4010. If you don't see your printer here, hit all printers and it should pop up somewhere right there. And if it still doesn't pop up, I would try restarting your phone. But ours is right here, it's the G4010. One zero. We're gonna hit that. Rather than printing every single page, I'm just gonna print the first page. So I'm going to go to this drop down here that brings you to more options. You could change the color to black and white. We can go to pages instead of printing all four. We're gonna print a range, and we're just going to print pages one. If we wanted to print pages one and two, we could do one comma two. If you wanted to pick one through three, that's one, two, and three. You can do one dash three like that. We're just gonna print page number one. There's more options here, such as portrait, landscape, and paper size. And the paper size, you're gonna to want to match whatever you have in your printer. Letter is your normal eight and a half by 11, or if you're going to do an index card, four by six, you would pick index card four by six. We're gonna be printing this on a letter, eight and a half by 11, and then we're going to hit print. It's going to say, your document may pass through one or more print servers on the way to the printer. We're just going to hit okay, and it sent the signal to the printer. And now we have our beautiful document printed from our Android device. And it really is that simple. This method, you'll also be able to print shipping labels, workouts, you can even print pictures, and even more, and those are just some examples. I do have a tutorial showing another app that Canon has. I think it's called like the Canon Selfie Print app, and it gives you a couple more features that you could maybe potentially use. If you wanna check that video out, I'll put a link to it in the description. It's showing it on an iPhone, but it's pretty much the same for the Android, same process. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're having any trouble printing from your Android devices, let me know about it in the comment section, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.